What's happening guys? Hardy Loco. It's been a while but uh, I'm going to do a 3 oil oil change on my 07 Road King. I've gone with Amos Oil which I purchased from Old Halls in Coventry. That's Old Halls in Coventry. Uh, I'm about 40 miles away so I chose next day delivery which cost me 120 I think it was about £120 all in. Uh, that's just for the oils. Uh, this oil socket and the, and the funnels and O-rings come off Amazon, I think it was £20. So yeah, it's a handy kit to have, obviously. You need it to get your oil filter off. And obviously I've got a chrome oil filter. That was purchased from Hog Parts in Canuck. So we'll get into it. So as we're removing the drain plug for the engine oil obviously I'm going from the left side of the bike underneath the primary quarter inch socket and the first drain plug as you can see there the next one too it's for the transmission but for the engine oil we're working with the first one so we're gonna back this out obviously inspect your drain plug make sure there's no plunks of metal or anything to be alarmed by this was fine, I've just cleaned the excess oil off before I've opened it, so I'm just about to change the O-ring now for a new O-ring. The new O-ring's installed, then we're going to install the plug back into the bottom of the engine. Just put the drain plug back in now, we're going to snug it up, not tight at all. You don't want to be going over the top with this. Then we'll clean up the excess oil around it. Now we're going to remove the oil filter which is a messy job, there's no way of stopping oil spinning down. So obviously, as many paper towels or whatever you can use as possible, just to try and help you with a mess. Was they? <laughs> I did let the uh, did let it drain as much as possible, but yeah, there's still a bit of a mess. So yeah, you know, doubt we'll do some cleaning up in a minute. Let's get to install the new oil filter in place. I just tighten this nice and slowly. There's no need to when you get start getting tight. There's no need to snug. You know, I'd be silly on tightening this right now because I've been told that if you do stuff like that you'll struggle next time to get it off so just nice and gentle Our drying plug and everything's back in. Now we go around to add the oil. I'm putting 3.5 litres in. Uh, then obviously going to run the bike, check it when it's up to temperature, then adjust accordingly. One US quart, 946 millilitres. Then obviously, I'll jump back in when I've got them all in. So three litres I've gone in so far. Just about to add half a litre out of this. So 
so that's that in. And that's the engine oil changed. We'll right, let's run to the transmission oil. Um, there's the filler cap here, so we're gonna crack this off, loosen this. We're gonna just screw it out and leave it in there, just so it lets the transmission fluid flow quicker when we undo the drain plug underneath. So that's that. Right, right hand side of the bike. Transmission drain plug. Yeah, I've got a quarter inch hex in here. So I'll get that cracked off. Put in the oil. There we go, let that dry. Same practice again, change the oil ring, clean the plug. Refit the drying pipe, uh, drying plug. Refit the drain plug and just snug it up nice and gentle. You haven't got to go stupid. So the transmission calls for a, basically a, a US quart, 950 mil or thereabouts if you do the conversion. So we're going to put one quart into the transmission. Steady, nothing too stupid, and that's that. Now I'm going to do a primary change. So um, I'm going to be changing my primary, the outer gasket as well, the primary cover gasket. But I'll cut the video so it just shows me doing the oil change. So as always, we're going to nice and steady crack the air. The drain plug, remove it. As always, new oil ring on. You will have a bit of graphite looking stuff around the plug on this due to it being obviously where your clutch plates and that are. Obviously, as long as there's not a big chunks of metal, I wouldn't be too alarmed. But that's all drained. So I'll get back into it for you when I'm, I'm refilling. Right guys, I'm back with you. Uh, I'm gonna fill this primary up now. Because I took the primary case off because I wanted to check something and I put a new primary cover gasket on, I've got to put 45 ounces in this uh, primary. It works out to about 1,320 millilitres I've got to put in. So. Let's put the first litre in. And that's it guys, just to button everything back up. So that's it guys. Um, put the derby cover back on now. Torque them up to 108 inch pounds in the star pattern. And yeah, job done. 